This edition of Football Friday is presented by the West Virginia Lottery. When you play, West Virginia wins. On WVUSports.com, Tony Caridi along with Coach Dwight Wallace as the Mountaineers get set to take on the Red Raiders of Texas Tech here in Lubbock. Second straight week that the Mountaineers are on the road. They seem to be handling this with no problems. Well, I think it's been great. I credited the coaches on the first trip when we were at the University of Texas. thought they really painted a good picture and told our kids what was going to happen, what are the traditions, what's the stadium going to be like. And I think the guys kind of were comfortable going in there and just worrying about executing and playing football. I have a feeling the same thing's happened this week. Shootout potentially here. Seth Dagey, the quarterback from Texas Tech, likes to put it up. They've scored points. Of course, West Virginia scoring points. But defensively, uh, not as much of a risk-taking unit uh, that we saw a week ago. How does that affect this game? Well, uh, you know, they're going to not make the mistakes, I think. I think they're going to make you earn it. They're going to try to contain you. They're going to make you take more snaps, try to avoid the big play. That's the big thing I think they want to do. They want to try to make us balance up. They want to see us uh, pass as well as run and uh, just see how they handle both phases. So I think that's, uh, that's going to be a little different than what we saw last week with Texas where they manned up a lot forced us to really run in intricate routes, made us really work on timing, and uh, overall Texas wasn't afraid to pressure, and we did hurt them a time or two when they did pressure, and one time we had Tavon, he ran for 40 and a touchdown against the Blitz. The biggest surprise coming out of that game among several was that West Virginia ran the ball for over 200 yards. What do you think the defensive coordinators, and specifically Art Kaufman, the defensive coordinator here at Tech, what does he deal with now knowing that West Virginia, if they have to can run the ball. Well, and no question, being balanced does bring more pressure. I think they can't totally sell out for the pass. They know they've got to account for the run. At the same time, they, they may want to bring a little more uh, pressure in the box. They may give us uh, more of a six-man box, occasionally seven, uh, against that run and try to, try to think just when will we run. Uh, there's kind of a rhythm I think you get into. He's going to try to guess with us on that a little bit. Big game all the way across the board. Obviously, when you're undefeated at this point in the season, they become more and more significant. And to this point, this team has handled it very well. Should be fun. West Virginia against Texas Tech, just the second ever meeting between these two schools as the Mountaineers look to stay undefeated. Our pregame coverage on MSN Radio begins at 2.30, and our kick set to go at 3.30. From Lubbock, Texas, along with Coach Dwight Wallace, I'm Tony Caridi on WVUSports.com. This edition of Football Friday is presented by the West Virginia Lottery. When you play, West Virginia wins.